So now we're getting started on page two. We finished page one. Remember, this is this, this where the hinge is, the spine. And then you're going to turn the page and we're coming to this page two. So we're going to be making this waterfall. So what you're going to start with is four pieces and you're going to cut them to four and a half inches this direction, five and a half inches tall. Put it in the score scoreboard with four and a half inches up and you're going to score it at four inches. Fold burnish and add your score tape to that flap. Get rid of this. So we have our four pieces. Now what you're going to do is you're going to cut another piece, one piece five and a half inches tall by five and about five and three quarters inches long in this direction. So what we're going to be doing is building our waterfall on this base piece. So you're using this as a guide to put your pieces on. So you're going to line this one up and you're going to line that up. Make sure the edges are lined up here and it's everything straight. And then you're going to pull the tape. So I believe that's lined up. It's so hard black on black. But that looks pretty good, so it looks good. So once you have your first one in, you're just going to continue building like you always do your waterfall. Get it lined up. Make sure it's even here. Got this line here to make sure it's even. Fold that down, make sure it all lines up. Everything looks straight and then once you do, you can, oops, now it moved, you can go in and pull the tape. So I'm going to put all my waterfall pieces down on this base, um, base part. Okay, so once you have your four, your waterfall pieces all adhered down, what you're going to do you are going to go to your 12 by 12 collection and there's a, a page that has these four large scenes, these four large cards. You are going to get this card. I'm using this one for demonstration purposes, but you're going to get this card. Behind this card is the scene with the elephants. So that's your go the card you're going to get. And you are going to cut that card so that you see this green edging around it. That's where you're you're following that green edging all around the card. You see that? So that should fit on top of your waterfall. And then what you're going to do is you're going to trim it so it fits on your waterfall. So you're going to put your card there and you're going to trim it so it fits nicely on your, your waterfall. You may need to trim it top to bottom, side to side a little bit. Okay, got that? Then you're going to ink it. And you, what I use is Cafe Espresso. Let me show you. I ended up using Cafe Espresso um, just because it was darker than the vintage photo. I just like the darkness of it, but it was a, still a brown tone. It's not quite black, but I used Cafe Espresso to basically ink everything in this book. So you're going to ink it. And then starting from the back side, this side, you are going to cut, let me show you. Here's the front panel. You have one, two, 
three. And here is the back base panel that you built your waterfall on back in here. And this back base piece, let me just show you with uh, this. If you can see this back pay base piece was trimmed so you only have a little bit of reveal on that back base piece right here so when you put this card this flap over you're only seeing a little tiny sliver of that back base part that you built your waterfall on so cut that so you're only seeing a little bit of that and then you're going to cut these half inch strips half inch half inch half inch so you're going to have three half inch strips and then you'll be left with this this front panel right here of this this seam you can go ahead and affix these three half inch strips onto your waterfall. Do not affix this piece yet. We are going to be, a, be putting this button and it's gonna go through this designer paper. Um, so don't adhere this one quite yet, but you can go ahead and get these three on. Then what you're going to do with your waterfall you're going to turn it on the back side. Here's the base piece that you built it on. You are going to get your tie closure. I use five ply uh, wax linen thread and I just tape it on to the back. This is about nine inches long. I just tape it onto the back. And get that centered. You're going to put it right in the center right there. Now put this piece aside. Before you fix your waterfall down, you need to add this designer paper. This designer paper on the back is from the Patterns and Solids. It's this piece. And what I did is I cut off, see this top edge right here above Above these blocks, I cut this, I trimmed off like a, whatever the width of this is, I trimmed it like down by a half. So let me show you with this page. So you can see that top part has been trimmed off. You see that? This page goes in starting from here from this edge you can see kind of see the um, zebra stripes here here's the zebra stripes here you've trimmed off this some of this top part up here you put it in and then you just fit it to your your pocket page cut it and it should be six and three eighths inches tall and you affix that to your pocket page so far so good make sure you ink it ink it, affix it to your pocket page, then you can bring back your waterfall. Go ahead and either cover this with tape, or if you want to glue it down, use glue. You're going to affix this down. It's going to be about three eighths of an inch in from the edge of the pocket page and it's going to be right underneath these blocks. That's where it's going to be up here. See that? So you can go ahead and affix the waterfall down. Now we have not applied this top part of our scene yet, right? You you've got these three strips in. You have not applied this yet. So let's just pretend this is this piece of paper. 
This is this part of the scene of this, this square card. What you're going to do is put it on your top flap and you're going to get your string, let me undo this. You're going to get your string and um, you're going to pull it over. You're going to find the center and you're going to put a button down here. You guys have seen me make these buttons a million times. I use a 110 pound cardstock black piece and then I use two or three 85 pound um, craft card stock and I glue them all together. And then I just put them down on my my scoreboard, find the center, and poke a hole. Just poke a hole in the center. So this is rigid. This is a rigid button. Then I found this mandala and I added it to my button that I made. Punched a hole right through the middle. And there's there's the button I made for this page. Once you have your button and you know where you want it to be on your designer paper that you have not affixed down yet, you just put your button down, get a pencil or pen or something, and then you, or you can get your pokey tool um, I don't know where my pokey tool is. Here's my pokey tool. And you just put it in there and make a hole through your designer paper. Just go through the designer paper. Don't go through, don't go through this whole thing. Don't go through the cardstock. So if you want, put something underneath um, the designer paper, like 110 pound cardstock or something under here. So when you make your if you're using a pokey tool, you can just make a hole through your designer paper. Got your hole through your designer paper. Then you can go ahead and get your mini brad. Get your mini brad. Go through your button. Go through your designer paper. Open up those prongs. Flatten them out. Flatten them out, and then put your black construction tape over those prongs. Once you have that designer paper all ready with its button, go ahead and adhere that onto your waterfall. So then you're going to have this entire piece attached. So remember, don't go through this this cardstock. Um, you, you want your prongs to open open up underneath your designer paper. I put lots of score tape all the way around and score tape, lots of score tape right down here. So I know this is nice and secure. So then you have this part. You have this. That's your closure. You have the back, the background paper from the 12 by 12. Then I'm going to open this up again. What you also have here on the back of your base that you built your your waterfall on is where did I just put it? Oh, here it is. This is this is um, the eight by eight collection. What I did here is I just found I tried to kind of match it up with. There's like little, I don't know what that, bows or butterflies or something here. I just put that right in here like this and cut it to fit back in here. So this is, is the 8x8 eight eight of this. 
see that eight by eight and I just cut it in there. Then all I did was cut this out. I'm pretty sure this is from the eight by eight collection. It may be from the 12 by 12. I don't remember. May all good things find you and stay with you. You would cut that out. I put it on, on um, craft cardstock, inked everything, and then I cut off this mandala. This is, I can never remember if these are from the 12 by 12 or eight by eight, but this one measures, it's like one and a quarter inch. And I just cut that out and ink the edges and put that in here. So that is the completion of page two. So we have page one, page two, pretty simple page.